to take a video of the uh, everybody leaving from CSDS. There goes 370Z, Jetta. told a pretty fun event. It was absolutely great to meet up with Crazy Leo. He by far surpassed the wildest expectations of what I thought. Like, to be honest, I was a little bit nervous that people say you should never meet your idol. You should never meet the people who you look up to and who inspire you. That is nonsense. Leo, he's a great guy. He's better in person. <laughs> you know, like I was actually worried that he would turn out sort of dull or maybe turn out to be a jerk or anything like that. Nope. So I'm really glad to have met him. We, um, we didn't talk business business, but we talked about sort of ways that we can help each other out. And uh, in the next few, uh, let, let's say months, I want to say months because I don't think he's going anywhere or anything, but I want to help him out, so I'm going to be posting a lot of Crazy Leo stuff on the uh, CarsWorld.com, Track Day Pro, basically anywhere where there are people discussing cars in a organized forum type manner, I'm all over it with Crazy Leo, because I am a huge fan of him now, I met him, shook his hand, I really can't remember how great he is. I met up with so many friends. That, that was a fantastic day, it really was. <laughs> the noises. I'm I'm yelling right now a little bit, I know, but that's not why my throat is hoarse right now. My throat is hoarse because the cars they have they all have noise, they all have a it's absolutely wonderful to have such a wide variety of cars from <laughs> four-cylinder motorbikes to V10 or I think V10 work? No, it's uh, the 430, Ferrari 430, whichever it is, I think possibly V8, so I'm pretty sure it's V8. I think there may have been a V10, but I don't think in this particular event. But to have everything from the four cylinders, the six cylinders, the V8, the drag cars, my personal favorite of the uh, cars I was not expecting to see, a Caterham 7. I loved it. It was terrible, it was slow, because the drag race, and I don't think it was a great idea for him to drag race, but. Let's be honest. That still is fantastic. The cars that are driving right now with us, the RX-7, the Civic there, there's the Mazda Speed 6. It's a nice car group, it's a nice, It's a nice group, it really is. Uh, possibly made a couple of uh, new partnerships, formed a few partnerships that I should follow up on later, but certainly it is uh, very promising towards the Project Alpha that we have, that we have met Crazy Leo. It's great that we have 
the connections that we have now because of today. I think today is a very good day to sort of really get into gear on the Alpha project, really start to make connections, really start to sort of get into the know of how sponsorships work, to get information from Crazy Leo. There's more to follow on that, but he's a WRC driver. And he's helping us, and I think that's fantastic. I really do. And in return, he's going to get nothing but help and praise from me, because what an agreeable, friendly guy. And I can't stress that enough, that I, even I was surprised by how much of just a regular guy he is, but he's not a regular guy, but he has that regular guy personality, but not regular at all because he's crazy Leo. He's not just Leo. He's crazy Leo. And there's a good reason for that, because his personality perfectly matches with that. I'm gonna do a couple of uh, joke posts and stuff to start out with, but... Um... Basically just, uh... Really, all in all, a fantastic day. I can't explain it well enough. I can't really explain what I mean. I'm driving, I'm trying to focus more on that, but... Wow! <laughs> that was good. I'm going to show you guys this. Crazy Leo signed his Crazy Leo hat here. I don't know, it's just... I've always been a sort of a Crazy Leo fan since he hit the scene, like, way back. I think, basically, when I started to follow rallying, when I got the Subaru, the 2.5 RS, my first car, I followed racing, rallying then, and he was just an up-and-comer then, and I sort of, like, wondered, I wonder if he's gonna stick around, like, if he's really in it for a long time, and he's still in the scene, but more so now than ever before, which is good news for everybody who enjoys his company and his presence and everything, because we have another good guy in our community now, and, uh, it's exciting. But enough about Crazy Leo. We got a whole bunch of ideas for the Alpha. We were in, uh, Milan and I, like, we were looking at aerodynamic devices on cars, we were looking at brake ducts, we were looking at the way that the drivers had the interior cockpits of the car laid out, and we were looking for the smartest, the best possible ideas we could find, and I thought, this is good. This is good exposure into the sport to see what sort of tips and tricks and techniques can we implement that will make us better. What sort of things can we do to be awesome? Shout out to the CRX and the RX-7 there. Beautiful cars. Civic fixing itself, unfortunately, there. Hopefully you get this fixed. Um, I don't want to make the guys wait for me too long, so I can't stop and help them. All, all told, I think today was just great as this, the uh, sort of true beginning of the Alpha, because we're setting up partnerships, we're getting the word out, we're marketing ourselves as a proper racing team, as we should, and it's very exciting that we're going to have that, you know, we're going to have the uh, partnerships with all sorts of people, like, just to name a few. There's Crazy Leo in just the beginning, and I've talked to the Neo Motorsports guys, sort of introduced myself, maybe they'll help with coilovers or something if we need coilovers later on. Maybe we can get them custom made from them for the Alpha 75. It's hard to know exactly what's going to happen, of course, but 
every indication seems to point to a lot of good things happening right now. So watch this space. And please, if you don't know who Crazy Leo is yet, check him out, follow him on Facebook. He's got plenty of good, high quality posts. He posts a lot of interesting stuff. If you're a rally fan and you watch WRC or the Canadian Rally Championship or North American Rally Cup, Rally America, any of those things, please go and like his page on Facebook. Check out his t-shirts, his hats. Check out his crazy brand because really you're supporting a very good guy. We're gonna see him back in WRC soon. have a lot of news, a lot of content, a lot of good stuff in the future. 